that say these two things together? What, what message is it sending on the public art board? Well, I think what's really clear is you have to separate the public art board, who are citizen volunteers, from the public art process or the public art program at the city. The city volunteers have actually been pretty good. They've been great, actually, in helping us think through all of this. And we realized the council was really operating from a place of lack of knowledge. You know, we would see these things, because we're not involved in the selection, uh, neither is the public art board, but we would kind of see these things when they hit the front page of the newspaper. And it was felt that it would be helpful for council to have a little more oversight, but also a little more opportunity to understand the public art program by having a couple of members there. And the couple of members who self-selected represent kind of different points of view, so I think that'll be very helpful. So, is there anything that's lost right now with the whole Beaufort Tower situation, that kind of half of it is not... No, you know, I mean, the story is this, right, that because of various issues, including some utility lines and so on, it looked like building the drumlins on the north side would have been more expensive, would have gone over budget, and wasn't adding a lot to that particular art project. So it was felt that it would be better to spend the leftover funds um, on that project elsewhere where the art could be a little more publicly accessible.